What? What's wrong? Mine with a box is a spider. A spider? Okay. It came at me. It was ugly. Bigger than this. Okay, all right, calm down. Just you're in the country now. Okay? Come on, let's go find that spider. And let's find your mom to take care of that spider. Honey, we're in the living room. We need you to kill a spider. Okay. Everything's okay. The early 90s were an interesting period of film. Here we have films that would redefine how movies would be made, whilst a whole new generation of filmmakers were ready to burst onto the scene. But the era suffered somewhat in that weird transition from the 80s to the 90s. To be fair, most of the things that were successful then struggled with that transition, not just film. There are also a few diamonds to be found, one of those being an arachnophobia. Essentially, what Jules did for sharks, arachnophobia did for spiders. The film follows Jeff Daniels, who plays a doctor, moving to a small rural American town. As he arrives, something else arrives. That starts bumping people off. That something being a deadly spider. It's a great, scary film. It starts with the basic concept that everyone is scared of spiders. So that'll bring in the creepy factor. Then it cracks up to Spider-Mageddon, before ending in a basement trying to settle that eternal battle of man versus spider. The problem with the film is Julian Sands. Well, he's a problem with a lot of films, but just bear with me. As the film is set in America, the first order of business is how do the poisonous spiders get there? This is why the film begins in the deepest Amazon. Fine, nothing wrong with this. It makes perfect sense. We join up with a photographer who is meeting with Julian Sands, who plays a scientist who is pushing deep into the jungle in order to find new species that have never been in contact with humans before. ...coverage of the surrounding rainforest in Tapui. The what? Tapui. It's an Indian word for mountain, a place where species have survived in isolation for millions of years. Oh, any man-eating dinosaurs? So push into the jungle they do, right into a proper big scary gorge. Having arrived there, and after setting up a lot of interesting looking equipment, what does Julian Sands do then? He fires up a big smoke gun and kills lots of insects. Pictures, man, they pictures. Now, this is questionable science at best. What is the point of spending all that time traveling into the jungle, all the hardships of funding and travel, just to wipe out what you're looking for when you get there? What is it? I think it's a new species of butterfly. We could call it Photius manlii. Yeah, great Julian. It's never been seen before. So why did you kill it, you bad scientist? Julian then has the barefaced audacity to get pissed off at the photographer for killing one of the spiders. What the devil do you think you're doing? It was alive! Then you're ridiculous. Well, it's just a spider, what's the big deal? It wasn't just a spider, Mr. Manley. It was potentially a new species of spider, isolated and unchanged for millions of years. And all you could do is squash it. Professor! How can he say that? after he just slaughtered hundreds of creatures. The rest of the film then makes a mockery of this bad science because whenever they find an insect, they make a big point of saying that dead insects are of no value. Why don't we just take the dead spider and get out of here? Oh no, Ross, you don't get off that easy. Dead spider's already desiccated, wouldn't be any use to You us. mean mass- Now he believes he came across one of the offending spiders a couple hours ago. Might you have brought it with you? Actually, it's probably still in the bottom of my shoe. You know, you really can't tell what it is anymore. So why kill them all? Why? Thinking about it, it looks like the only reason why Julian goes kill crazy is to get over just how tough these spiders are with the audience. That's impossible. They should be dead. Very aggressive. We'll take because they take Julian Sand smoke on and they say, I'll have some more, please. Luckily, Sands pays for being a bad scientist later in the film by getting munched by the spiders. All this bad science isn't something that totally derails arachnophobia, but it just makes no sense. 
admittedly, I am talking about this with a film that has hot spider sex. <laughs> So, arachnophobia. Ignore the bad science, stay for the spider battle. Don't mention it. 